if I tried coding my own JS plugins? Um, not really. I've got like one or two that are not really coded, I would say. Um, if you have repack, um, you can look up Reaper blog. The macro controller inside it's it's just sliders. They don't do anything, but you can use them to control multiple other parameters in other plugins. So you could have a slider that controls like three EQ band cues or something like that, or you could, you know, increase the reverb as you're filtering and you know or adding distortion and things like that. So um, just a utility plugin. This one minus twelve dB dim. I made this when I was mastering and I didn't have a monitoring controller where I could press a dim button. So just having this on the track uh, decreases the volume by 12 dB and just unbypass it to put it back to normal. No controls or anything. Inside it's, the code is ridiculous. It's input SPL times 0.25 and that's it. So it's a quarter of the output. And then there's another one that is a multi-channel trim. And so this will trim up to 32 output channels. So if you have something like Easy Drummer and you have a multi-channel outs and you don't want to do tweak all of the individual fader levels or you know something like that, you can put this after, turn it down by 2 or 3 dB so the inputs of those individual tracks aren't clipping anymore. 